welcome to North America Trapper today. This week I'm actually going to take you out on my Pennsylvania Predator line. I'm going to show you uh, the methods, techniques that I use uh, making a dirt hole. I'm also going to show you a, a post set uh, that's going to be helpful for you, whether you're trapping in the east or the west. But, you know, 80%, 90% of the, the coyotes and predators taken are taken in the dirt hole. And, and there's a couple things that I'm pretty steadfast uh, with when making those type of sets. Bed that trap properly, I believe, is 99% of the equation, and you're going to see that uh, in the segments there where I show you uh, how to make these sets here. So with that said, we're going to get started on that action right now. This is actually one of my favorite spots over the last few years. Uh, this is just a little farmstead. Uh, there's a trail, a game trail that comes in here. It hits a two-track. And we're literally only about 100 yards from where the housing development is. But I've caught coyotes, fox, and bobcat here every time I set this. Using a one and three quarter offset here. And uh, that's usually what I'm setting out here, the offsets. Now when they come in here, and they're stepping around. You can see I'm putting a lot of pressure on every one of these jaws and springs and that trap is not wobbling any. That is the key to successful predator trapping and if you get your traps bedded in there like this and they are solid and they can step on the dog or they can step on the spring or the jaws or whatever they don't move and they're going to continue to work your dirt hole down here and this is going to allow them to step in it whether it's a back foot or a front foot or whatever but that is the key that's good now we'll just find the top of that trap this turned into a almost of a little trench set but Ultimately, this is what I want. I've got that uh, trap back about probably about 12 inches, and that even a coyote is going to attempt to get into here. And we got that dirt hole up here, and just making it look like they dug it out, and we're going to get something in that hole that they're going to be wanting. Get a big glob of that. Get that right down in the hole, jam it down in there as far as I can. We have a focal point there, down in that hole. That's where most of the smell is coming from. I think animals expect to have other smells at the set. And plus, we don't give them as much credit, I don't think, as they probably deserve. And they're going to smell human scent here. Over a couple days, that may dissipate a little bit, and then we have only uh, what's coming out of the hole. But I wouldn't worry so much about uh, scent at a set. But uh, ultimately, that's pretty good. I'm just going to leave this clump right here. They'll work in around that. We'll get them down in that hole. And hopefully, uh, we continue to have... Uh, success here like we have had in the past but uh this place i'm going to put two more over here on this two track right where it meets this field edge and then i'm going to put uh two more out where it meets the wood line ultimately i'm pretty happy with this set and if you put sets in on your line like this you're going to be successful when you're out there chasing these predators Trapper of the week is Dan Stout with a nice Minnesota Martin, taken with a cubby set baited with beaver meat. Congratulations, Dan, and get your chance to be Trapper of the Week by visiting us at NorthAmericanTrapper.com. Handling nest graders is our specialty, and you can become the steward of your own land with our North American Trapper Scent Package, which includes our Coon Buster DP Bait and Magnet Trailing Scent. Our sweet scented trailer will draw them in where our Coon Buster will then take over, and its soaked crawfish essence will entice those nest raiders to work the trap consistently. Look no further than our North American Trapper Combo Scent Package for all your predation control needs. North American Trapper. Proven products. Proven conservation. Welcome back to Duke Trap's presentation of North American Trapper with Alan Probst. 
Well, we just put a set in down here on this fence row and the prevailing winds coming up across here into these plains. Uh, I want to show you a different set that you can use while you're out there. When you know you're on a distinct coyote trail and you know you're on a canine trail, um, the wind's blowing this way towards the trail along this fence row. We can actually use this as a urine post type set. We're going to put the trap right here and ultimately if they're running this edgeway, that urine scent's going to hit them over there about four or five feet when they're running by. They're going to come over to mark it themselves. Uh, this set here, you catch them by the back foot a lot of times. They'll work up, put their foot down to lift their back leg to urinate, and you end up catching a lot of them in the back foot here. Click, ready to go. And we're going to drive that stake in right smack dab in the middle there. So we got that in there, set it, our trap is going to go right there. We want to pack that in around there and that's exactly what we want. Now any animal comes in, steps anywhere on that trap, you can see there's no wobble. And in accordance to where our urine's gonna be, he's gonna come in, put his back foot down, boom, right there. Move that over just a hair to there. And that's absolutely what we want for our set. Let's cover it up. I like to do this and then I just shred it like a cheese grater down through my sifter. So ultimately, that is exactly what we want there. We're just gonna take some coyote urine and we're gonna soak that up right there. Now urine evaporates, that's why I'm putting a lot on there. I want that to smell really, really good right to that trail four or five feet away. And that's all we wanna do. And that's a scent post set coming in. It's almost like they're walking through, boom, right there. It's just another thing you can do out here to uh, catch these canines. We're on this fence row, as I showed you. Got a dirt hole about eight feet away. Got a scent post set here, two sets. Working this corridor and hopefully we come back in here and it'd be nice to come in here and have a double. But that's just really all there is to putting this in there. I know I get redundant a lot of times. 99% of your problems can be fixed by taking your time bedding that trap properly because there's no use rushing and putting these in because you're going to go back they're going to be dug up they're going to be set off because they weren't bedded properly but uh we spend an extra two three minutes making sure they're in there tight find that good hard clay maybe a little deeper in the soil pack that in come in put their foot there and you got them now it's time for the north american trapper tip of the week Well, this week I wanted to take some time and show you a little bit of the fur I got last fall. Here's a nice beaver that I was able to get a chance at. Uh, I got a couple nice cherry reds here. Got a really nice dark coyote. Uh, that was a big dog. You can see he's a monster. Caught a few gray fox and uh, was able to uh, get a few coons that were really good heavy coons. But ultimately, if you're out there making these sets, uh, doesn't matter if you're a farmer, rancher, landowner, or whatever. Put the time in, uh, do your fur up, and ultimately it's something that you can use as a good conversation piece, fur decor in your home, your camp, your lodge. Uh, you can give them away as gifts. They're really nice once they're tanned. But, uh, you know, that's part of the process as well. Doing your fur up and uh, showing respect for the animal in the quarry that we do chase and getting the most out of it, whether you send it to market or keep it uh, for a nice keepsake. But uh, I just wanted to show you a little bit of the the fun that I had last fall and ultimately these are all going to be tanned and some of them will be on the back of the couch and some of them will be given away as gifts so make sure uh, you're doing this in uh, your process as well. You need to have faith in the baits and lures piquing the curiosity of those at large predators. 
North American Trapper has you covered on your quest with our skunk-based madness, crawfish-based coon buster, fish-based reaper, and our meat-based mountain man. North American Trapper baits and lures are all multi-layered and proven to help you become the best predation trapper that you can be. Take back control of the ecosystem that is yours and get our scent bundle at NorthAmericanTrapper.com for the next time you're out breaking dirt on the line. Welcome back to Duke Trap's presentation of North American Trapper with Alan Probst. Well, we have a, a location here. We actually have a red fox back here I caught. My dad was <laughs> hunting deer up here early in uh, archery season. He said he saw a red fox on this turn, so that might be the one. So I come up and put a couple traps in, but uh, this is a mountainous location here. We have a big mountain right here. Uh, this is just an intersection where the main road goes around a turn, and then we have this old logger road here. Um, I saw a pile of coyote scat right here, a big pile, when I was setting it, so I know I'm on location here. I can catch fox, coyote, bobcat, uh, uh, maybe a, a big boar coon coming down through here. But uh, I put these sets in two days ago, and this fox came through, but ultimately, uh, you know, we want to trap those field edges and the fence rows and the and the little trails through the fence rows and the corners of fields and things like that. But don't pass up these mountain locations because ultimately, you know, you're going to have a lot of opportunities where these roads intersect. Anytime I make a set, I want to place it where you have at least two trails coming together. This main road we're on here is a trail and this old logging road is a trail and we got a nice red fox back here so let's go over and take a look at it. This is the family land. We've been hunting this land for 30 years. <laughs> I've been coming up here since I was probably 15 and you know I've seen coyotes. Well we've caught coyotes. My dad caught a fisher on this mountain had to let it go. Uh, this is actually the first time I've ever set up here on the family land. My dad used to set this and I would uh, hear his stories, but he was deer hunting here in this uh, early archery season. He said he saw a fox right on this turn where this road meets this old logging road. And this might be the one, but uh, that's a beautiful red fox, beautiful cherry red. Uh, you know, a lot of times you, you see online or you talk to people and I just wanted to make a point here. You put these sets in the ground, if you put the hard work and you put a trap in the ground and you have it in there and you have it bedded properly and you have something in the hole that piques their curiosity, you're going to catch any of these canines. And they don't think that you can't catch coyotes. If a coyote would have came here first, I'd have a coyote here this morning, but the red fox beat him to it. But, you know, if, if you have the desire, which I hope you do, to get out here and trap, it's it's a wonderful sport you're doing a service so we're going to save some some ground nesting birds and then maybe the grouse population will be a little stronger but uh don't let anybody tell you that you can't come out here and do this and it's it's something that anybody can do and really quite honestly you're going to get out of what you put into it the more sets you're going to put in the ground the more fur you're going to get for your shed but that is just a beautiful red fox and uh i'm pretty happy to get him today and and uh, I got to thank my dad for letting me know he saw one on this turn, but we're going to get him taken care of. Uh, I'm going to actually uh, remake this and then uh, we're going to head on down the road. But uh, that's a beautiful red fox right there. Let's take a look at the North American Trapper product spotlight. This week, I just wanted to take some time and show you our mountain man bait. Uh, and as you can see, it's just a really good, thick, meaty, creamy uh, paste. This is four equal parts of ground Angus, ground fresh prairie dog, ground poultry, and rendered prairie dog as well to give it uh, a little bit of that extra uh, go. But ultimately, we've got about 11 different ingredients in this. Uh, it's a great bait for your fox, coyote, bobcat situations, your dirt holes, the situations where you're going to need a good bait to entice that critter to work your set. Uh, we are very happy with the mountain man and, and what we put together here, and we're sure that you would be too. But with the four equal parts and all the ingredients in there, it's just something that is, is enticing them, really maximizing their curiosity to work your set. 
And ultimately, that's what we're trying to do with all of our North American Trapper products. So if you get an opportunity, stop by the website and check out this mountain man. And I'm sure you're not going to be disappointed. North American Trapper Predation Packages. Get any one of our specific trapping packages that has been ultimately designed to help you become the master predation controller of your farm, ranch, or hunting lease. Control the predators that are costing you time and money and get out there trapping today with one of our North American Trapper Predation Boxes. All of the packages come with the trapping essentials to get you out in the field, plus an instructional DVD that will show you the way. Visit us at NorthAmericanTrapper.com and start breaking dirt today. Welcome back to Duke Trap's presentation of North American Trapper with Alan Probst. We at North American Trapper understand the importance of getting youth involved in the tradition of trapping. Go to NorthAmericanTrapper.com forward slash give and purchase your bait or trap. We'll duplicate your purchase to your local state organization and get a youth involved in the art of trapping. This has turned into uh, my favorite spot. I actually uh, set this over here, one of the sets you saw me make, it's over here about 10 yards, and I told you I was gonna put another couple on this two track right here, and come in here, uh, this is the second day, first day, we didn't have anything around the sets. It's a really nice coyote. I got him in this uh, one and three quarter Duke offset. Uh, he's in there good, he's held good, but ultimately, uh, if you pound these sets in the ground, you're gonna, you're gonna be successful as well, so. It's just a beautiful, beautiful coyote, and I'm happy to get them. Uh, we got some more sets to check, today, and hopefully we have some more down the road, but uh, it's, it's really nice to come in here and see him bouncing. So we're going to get this coyote taken care of, and uh, I'm going to show you the remake. Uh, I can smell him. The wind direction comes out of the northwest here, and I'm right downwind, and he's got this area polluted with scent, which is just going to be a... Uh, a really good call to anything downwind to come in here and investigate this and I would fully expect that I'll have action at these sets over the next couple days uh, throughout uh, this week but uh, really nice coyote and uh, I'll get him taken care of well put this remake in here he uh, as I said he's got this all so I can just smell it coming out of here just uh, smells just very coyote coming right up <laughs> pretty awesome i like it we'll get this bed remade um anyway but like i said if you put these sets in the ground you're uh you're gonna have an opportunity to catch these animals and ultimately uh if you're gonna put the hard work in you're going to get the benefits from it and i can't express that enough if you bed your trap properly uh that's the biggest key bed that trap solid and and you're going to catch these animals i actually uh, i don't know if it was this coyote or a different one i just went down and checked that last set down there by the wood line and you, see, you can see a coyote print right on the set where he missed the pan. So if it wasn't this dog, we're gonna get another opportunity at that one when he comes back in. But I couldn't be any happier than I am right now with the success that I've been having here over the last couple years. But we're getting this bedded in there as tight as I can, packed around. And if I step or push anywhere on this trap around this, it's not moving. And that's exactly what we're looking for in getting our trap in the ground. Get my dirt hole dug again, as you can see, getting way down in there. That's good. Get some uh, bait. Get a big glob down in there. As you can see, I'm pretty liberal with my bait use. I don't think you can ever overdo it with bait. I think you can overdo it with lure and things of that nature, but I don't think you can ever do, overdo it with bait. So I'm pretty liberal on my bait use. Just going to take some of this duff that he's got all of his urine on him, whatever. I don't need to put uh, any lure, any urine here, anything, because all the scent is on this. This whole area is absolutely polluted with uh, urine and 
his scat and it's just gonna draw every predator in this area in into here for another opportunity at uh, at another canine well that set's pretty much done uh, like I said this area is just uh, full of scent and uh, got herself a nice dog today and hopefully uh, we'll come back in here over the next couple days and have some more predators but uh, you know just finishing up on this just remember bed your trap properly make it solid have something down the hole that they're interested in and piques their curiosity come over and you're going to be successful uh, trapping these canines as well well, thanks for joining us today here at North American Trapper. I hope that you enjoyed the show. Uh, these methods and techniques that I showed you, the dirt hole, the post set, um, they're gonna work for you anywhere across the country if you have populations of these animals. Uh, I get a little redundant at times. I know I talk about bedding that trap properly, but that's really, in my eyes, that's 99% of the problems that are gonna be created out there for trappers. If you don't bed that trap properly, that's gonna create your diggers, that's gonna create your misses and ultimately that's going to smarten these animals up instead of actually having that bedded properly to where when they step 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 they finally hit the pan and it goes off so keep that in mind when you're out in the field if you get a chance stop by our website northamericantrapper.com we got a lot of different products that can help you in all of your trapping needs uh, with all the predators whether you need some dog proofs or raccoons the 550s that we showed you today baits and lures uh, we'd love to have you stop on by and we definitely appreciate Appreciate your business. Proven products equals proven conservation, and we'll see you next time on North American Trapper.